Danielle Fogarty of North Bennington was nearing the finish line of the Boston Marathon when she heard two explosions Monday and witnessed scenes of horror and panic. In an interview with Banner reporter Neil Goswami at her law office Wednesday, Fogarty described the experience. Sunny down the right side, and it was beautiful and it was sunny and you could see the finish line. And then you saw the first explosion. And the, that was weird. That didn't make any sense. And I could hear the people right behind me. There were some men behind me. And they kind of were talking with each other. They joked like, oh, it must be a cannon. And one of them said, like, oh, it's like the four-hour celebratory cannon or something, which mm -hmm. made no sense, but that's what it sounded like. Mm -hmm. And you could see something. It didn't make sense. And then, um, you know, very quickly after that, closer to us, the second explosion happened, and immediately uh, it was just panic and chaos, and the, the spectators there, you've seen the fencing, yeah. to keep the spectators on the sidewalk and the runners come down the street, and immediately they just flattened the, little, the fencing and they just rushed up Boylston, and they were just all, you know, really panicked and scared, and um, and so, but I knew Charles was where he was, and I knew he didn't know exactly where I was, but that he was expecting me, and so I just continued toward the finish line, and um, and it was like nobody wanted you to go in that direction because they were all coming toward you. But anyway, so I just went through them and um, just kept going toward the finish line and passed the bomb, the second one. And it was surreal because there were runners who were flat on the ground. And I, I didn't know if they were blown to the ground or high, you know, being safe somehow. And then there was, I saw a woman and I saw her leg, all the flesh in her leg, and um, then there was a man and his pants were just in shreds, and then this other woman who, who had lost her clothing on the bottom of her body, and she had, like, she was just standing there and someone was helping her, and so that's just... But you can't process it. You're seeing it. And so I continued toward the finish line, and then right after the second one, they were stopping us. Mm -hmm. And I was stopped at Exeter, which is about a half a block from the finish line. And what was a miracle was that the I was running toward the finish line, and the police officer, they were just going, no, stop. And and I just stopped, and the finish line was right there, and the bleachers were empty, and I looked to my right, and Charles was right there on the corner, and he was looking across the street, and I just, you know, I, I went up to him, and I, he was white as a ghost, and I, and I was waving to him. I was only like five feet from him, and I'm like, Charles, Charles, I'm right here. And, you know... They were pushing us away, and we just left up Exeter and left. And it all that all of that happened within I don't know ninety seconds, two minutes. And even by the time we were two or three blocks away, uh, people didn't know like what had just happened because mm -hmm. it just was so quick and. Um, we 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 just got to our car and, and left. So bizarre. Mm -hmm. I was close enough to the second one to see it and to hear it, but I didn't feel the wave of it. Mm -hmm. It probably took me I don't know, like fifteen seconds to get past to it mm -hmm. to pass it. Yeah. And. And Charles was like in those bleachers, so he was looking up Boylston to see me coming <coughs> when the first one went off opposite 
on the opposite side of the street and so then and he was saying like so he heard that to hit off to his right on the opposite side of the street as he was looking up Boylston. So since he was looking up Boylston, he saw the second one because he was in between the two. And then it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. so. so what what did you hear? What sounds were you hearing? The, well, yeah, the... The fans are many deep, and it's a very big moment mm -hmm. to, you know, turn right on Hereford, left on Boylston. I, I have a, you know, a car magnet that says that. I have a shirt that says that. And and the people are loud and cheering, and it's exciting. And um, you're running down Boylston, and it's just great. And what the first explosion sounded like really was uh, like a cannon to me. Mm -hmm. it, it, it I saw it, and then I heard it, and it was like that kind of delayed boom of a cannon. And and that you figure, well, it's gotta be something. And something and you don't happy. think it's but but it I think nobody thought at first you know, bomb. I mean it, mm -hmm. something happened. Yeah. And and it really was when the second one and the second one just was closer and um you know, bigger and louder. Um, and, you know, I just, I lose my words there. Um, I didn't, you know, I just, I knew people were hurt and I just was doing, you know, what I was doing and kept going and mm -hmm. figured I didn't know where else to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the cheering is is loud and boisterous and happy. And then, what are those folks doing? Oh, immediately. In the immediate aftermath. Oh, screaming, screaming, and running up the street. And anything intelligible or just sounds? Um. Just I, not not that I I don't know yeah. words mm -hmm. that I heard. Mm -hmm. I I know that people were arm locked to stay together mm -hmm. and coming up, and I remember to get beyond them. I I I touched them and they were just they were spectators. They weren't injured. The the people on the ground and. And I just said, my family's down there. That's why I was going in that direction. And, and they were just screaming to go the other way. Um, but I, couldn't, I can't remember what words they yeah. said. And how about? The, the, the moment of that panic was, a, it was like a domino wave. It was like, <laughs> and And I really felt as if I was just witnessing that, you know? Like, I was just sort witnessing it. from it, but... Yeah, like I was witnessing them panic and run away. Mm -hmm. But it didn't occur to me to, you know, I just kept going. Yeah. What about, what about the other senses?